This week, the Killbillies bring in a pinch hitter to further their quickly vanishing lead as another Killbilly slings some more arrows. Some people live to work. You know, I don't get that. I work to live. In fact, the day I die, if there's mud on my boots, there'll be a smile on my face. These are the people I like to hang out with, doing the stuff we like to do, and I love it. Foxworthy Outdoors, inside and out. Hey everybody, this is Jeff Foxworthy, and welcome to week four of our web series, Foxworthy Outdoors, Inside and Out. Now this week, wildlife biologist Grant Woods takes a trip down south to hunt with me on my farm. Hey, I'm Grant Woods, wildlife biologist and host of Growing Deer TV. Excited about being invited down by my buddy Glenn Garner to hunt Foxworthy Farms. 14 hours pickup ride, just got here, just enough light to make sure the bow rode without getting shook off. Let's see if we're in the game. Second morning at Foxworthy's. That gold front that's been through the Midwest is kind of here, it's weakened a good bit. But maybe it's enough of a temperature change to make the deer stir a little bit this morning. You know, when you're a guest and you show up at a new place, you never know if you can be gar holed or not or treated like the brother in law. We could hear acorns dropping and see deer sign from the tree stand. Well, since Grant Woods is a guest at the farm, as I said in week one, all guest points go to the Killbillies. Young buck. That buck looks awfully familiar. This segment brought to you by Foxworthy Outdoors Deer Tracks, powered by Helen. Put them where you want them. Several years ago, I live in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, and, and one night I was hosting a benefit for the Children's Hospital there. Well, uh, at the end of the evening, this couple came walking up to me, and the man said, hey, I bet you done heard every redneck thing. And, I, and I'm thinking, well, I've heard a million of them. But he said, well, he said, my wife and I decided if we ever had the chance to meet you, that we had to tell you about the time her brother got his nipple bitten off by a beaver. <laughs> I said, you have my attention. Because you really can't walk away from something like that. His brother-in-law and a buddy were driving down the road in their truck, and a beaver ran out in the road, and they accidentally hit it. Well, the beaver went down into the ditch on the side of the road, and they decided they were going down into the ditch to find this thing, because they wanted to take it to the taxidermist, because we all know how pretty they look on a Thanksgiving table just holding that turkey up. And, so he said his brother-in-law went down the ditch, he found the beaver, he picked it up by the tail, and he said, look at it. It ain't cut up or bloody or nothing. Well, apparently nothing 
is the word that brings a beaver back to consciousness. And at that point, the animal lurched out and bit his nipple off. Didn't bite it, bit it off. OFF, oh. That is a new kind of hurt right there. And it is so rare that I am at a loss for words, but at that moment, the only reply I could think of, I said, I bet that is the only time in history the headline of the paper could include the words beaver and nipple and nobody be offended by it. This segment has been brought to you by Bad Boy Buggies. They'll never hear you coming. Well, all right, here we are, middle of October. We're getting ready for the rut. This is one of our little secrets to killing these big deer down here. We loaded down with deer tracks. One bag treats a tenth of an acre. I've got enough in here to do 16 stands. I'm going right down the road here. I'm actually gonna get Jacob to ride in with me. We know there's deer, big deer bedded close. So we're just gonna slide through there, spread it right in front of our stands. And then in the next two weeks, you'll see what deer tracks can really do. Right here's our deer stand right in the corner of this field. What we're going to do is open up the gates. We're going to treat this little area right in front of the stand because that's where we want the deer to feed. Especially during the ruts, that's going to draw the does in and you know what's going to be behind them. Another beautiful thing about deer tracks is it works on anything actively growing. This here is an alfalfa field. We're fixing to treat one corner of it where we have our stand set up. Um, it also lasts after a, after a rain. The deer tracks gets active in your plant system, but it, the the beauty of it is it lasts up to 30 days. It actually increases the palatability of your plants and gives it a lot more nutritional value. Well, since the thump monkeys put a thump in on the killbillies last week in week three, the killbillies couldn't wait to get to the tree. Take a look at this. The thump monkeys, unfortunately, have had a pretty good, pretty good week. Uh, they welcome Ned Yost back to the back to the team, and they've got a they've got a few down, so the the killbilly lead is dwindled. Tonight, I'm getting getting out from behind the camera and Caleb and I are gonna go hopefully smoke us a few. Meanwhile, on the other side of the farm, Grant is back at it. Second evening of our hunt near Foxworthy Farms. Another great stand, standing corn, greenfield, bedding area, bedding area. Odds are good, maybe we'll see something tonight. Very nice. The sun will still shine tomorrow. Take what you want. Steal what you can. Cause I know you can't hold what you need.
we have an easy hunt once this year. Jeff, thanks for allowing me to hunt tonight. Oh man, you're more than welcome. Thanks for helping me uh, control some of my doe population. As you know, we got to thin some of them out here, and uh, I appreciate it, especially she was a stomper and a blower. Stomper and a blower, Jeff talked about that before, challenging hunt, but you know, it's really important to balance that adult sex ratio and reduce the herd density so there's enough food for all the deer to express their potential. Yeah, we want as many deer as this land can possibly hold and, and for them all to be healthy. But in order to keep them at that maximum capacity, you, you do have to count them out. So yeah. I thank you for your help. Hey, it's fun being a deer manager. <laughs> it is indeed. Well, I'd like to thank Grant Woods for coming down and helping us control our doe population. And I'm telling you, he's doing some really amazing stuff in the world of deer. If you'd like to check that out, it's growingdeer.tv. Busy season for us at Growing Deer TV and as a wildlife biologist, perfect break to come down to Foxworthy Farms and just enjoy some laughs, some good hunts and fun. All a good rest, all a good hunt here at Foxworthy Farms. At the end of week four, it's Kill Billy's 15, Thump Monkey's 9. Foxworthy Outdoors has been brought to you by these fine sponsors. This has been a Sub 7 production in association with Foxworthy Outdoors.